as with uh, every uh, trade technical writing has its own tools and uh, they are very important for you to be a good technical writer you should also have mastery over uh, some of these uh, tools and uh, the first thing that you should have is a good dictionary and it's a very good habit to keep uh, referring to a dictionary and it is generally said that if you are not using a dictionary that means you are not reading at your reading level for example if i start reading books from my daughter's fourth standard or fifth standard textbooks i will not uh, need a dictionary to understand the words uh, that are there so only reason why you won't need a dictionary is when you are reading at a much uh, lower level of reading so it's a good idea to buy a good dictionary and uh, keep referring to it and it's also a good idea to subscribe to a good technical journal there are several wired economist resonance and so on resonance is a journal of science education published by indian academy of sciences and it's available for free online so you can once in a while go uh, check out the articles they are meant for school and college students and uh, lots of scientific information is explained in a manner which students from schools and colleges can understand so that that is a good exercise uh, economist for example has an obituary section which publishes obituaries for people from different walks of life and they explain the technical contents of the person's work in a very nice fashion there are also tools which are used for typesetting for example one is known as latex and there are tools which are used for plotting one of them is known as gnu plot and there are tools for doing data analysis one of them is known as r these are just samples there are several of them and there are many different programs which will make this uh, job of using latex or gnu plot easy for example so there is a program called techmaker which will give you a feel like you are editing a word document but it will have the tech markups and it will produce a nice uh, document similarly gnu octave is a program which uses gnu plot as the back end but it can do more computation and plotting and so on and so forth one of the things that you should do is to use uh, lab notebooks extensively so continuous uh, writing and continuous technical writing and continuous technical writing without recourse to any other technical material is very very essential for you to develop technical writing and you should also learn to use a spell checker Uh, most of you are doing this course so you are already doing what i'm suggesting next which is to do online course there are several online courses that are available about uh, technical and non technical writing and it's a good idea once in a while to just go through them and uh, revise some of the the ideas because with experience uh, then you benefit more even though the same information is given probably after trying to write something if you go back to those courses you can benefit more Thank you.